This is the gross appearance of granulomatous orchitis. Idiopathic granulomatous orchitis usually presents as a unilateral testicular swelling. The typical age is around 60 years and there is often a history of scrotal trauma or epididymitis and in two thirds of cases there may be urinary tract infection symptoms with negative culture. Also, in around 40% of cases, there may be an epididymal sperm granuloma. One theory is that idiopathic granulomatous orchitis may be autoimmune. The cut surface of a testis affected by granulomatous orchitis usually has a nodular appearance and there may be areas of necrosis or infarction. This testis has been bisected to reveal a rather nodular cut surface and this is the typical appearance of granulomatous orchitis. Histologically the seminiferous tubules showed germ cell degeneration and the Sertoli cells that are the supporting cells around the periphery of the tubules have a vacuolated cytoplasm and the tubules contain a granulomatous inflammatory infiltrate. The interstitial aspect of the testis shows a lymphoplasmocytic infiltrate with lymphocytes and plasma cells infiltrating the walls of the tubules. Eventually the tubules become atrophic. The differential diagnosis includes other conditions that may cause granulomas such as TB, bacterial, fungal, spirochete and parasitic infections and sarcoid. In addition, some tumours, particularly seminomas, are associated with granuloma formation. This is the low power view of granulomatous orchitis and you can see that the normal tubular architecture is retained, but on higher power the content of the tubules is anything but normal and the germ cells have been replaced by inflammatory cells including macrophages, epithelioid cells, lymphocytes and plasma cells. And here is a high power view of a granuloma containing a nice example of a multinucleate giant cell. And finally here is a picture showing the vacuolated Sertoli cells, one of the features of granulomatous orchitis.